Welcome back to Coralizer. This tu tutorial describes the editing and manipulation of core section images. When you click a section, it becomes highlighted and its name appears next to the mouse cursor. Selected sections are also highlighted in the session window. So for instance, if I selected the second section of track 10A here, you see that track 10A has been selected and that the second section of that track has been selected. The third and the fourth, there's track 8A, and so on. Now let's look at moving tracks. To move a track, you hold the shift key and drag up and down. Tracks can only be moved along the non-depth axis. You can drag from any section, it doesn't matter, the whole track will come along for the ride no matter what portion of it you're grabbing. Same is true for single section tracks, although they're a single section, so it's less exciting. Sessions can also be moved along the depth axis by holding the Alt key and moving along the depth axis. Note that it does not move up and down at all, only along depth. Here and here. For those of you who have installed Coralizer for the first time on a new machine, you probably won't be able to do this. You'll probably have something that Excuse me, let's try this. Uh, looks like this. I am holding Alt and I am dragging and nothing is happening. And the reason for that is that by default, when it's first installed, Coralizer locks cores in position when they're loaded. To unlock it, we right click and look at the many options there. And the one we're interested in is lock section. When this is checked, it means that the section is locked and cannot be moved. Uh, if I click this, it then becomes unlocked and now I can move it wherever I like. As I said, Coralizer does this by default when you first install it. Uh, if you'd like to change that so that all sections are unlocked when loaded, which I recommend, uh, go to the preferences dialog. So open the edit menu, choose preferences. Uh, this option is in the user interface tab. Uh, it is lock depth of core section images after loading. Make sure that's unchecked. Click OK and all sections that you load henceforth should be unlocked by default. You should be able to move them uh, immediately. This does not retroactively affect already loaded cores that are locked, so you'd still need to manually unlock those to move them around. Uh, but all future loaded cores should be unlocked. Now, you saw many options uh, when I right-clicked to demonstrate how one locks and unlocks tracks. Uh, we're going to look at some of those other options now. Uh, the first of these is right-click on any section and choose Properties. We'll skip Graph and Split for now. Uh, this dialog, unsurprisingly, displays many of the traits of this section, including its length, its DPI, orientation, rotation, etc. Uh, I would strongly advise avoiding editing anything in the size box, assuming your initial setup was correct when you loaded images. Um, one thing that it is very handy for is uh, repositioning a section back to some exact depth. For instance, I dragged this section way away from zero. It belongs at depth zero. Uh, I could try and manually drag it back, but it would be very difficult to get it exactly 0.0. .0. Uh, here, it's extremely easy. I simply type 0, hit apply, and back it goes. I can do the same for this guy. And the same for this one, too. There are other options in this dialog. Feel free to explore them and play around. But I find top depth to be the most useful option there. Uh, next up, we're going to look at somewhat unusual option called stagger sections. Uh, what stagger sections does is it offsets every other section in a track so that you can easily see the ends of all your sections. Uh, in some cases maybe people have aligned or, or uh, positioned sections such that they overlap a little bit and you can't clearly see uh, the gap between them. Staggering sections is one very easy way to do this. Uh, as you can see every other track is staggered. Uh, of course, you probably don't want to leave things that way, so to unstagger, you simply right-click any section in that track, uh, and you'll note that stagger sections is checked, uh, so 
click again and it will unstagger. So that's staggering. Next up is trim sections. Trim sections allows you to hide extraneous elements, for example color cards, like this color card here, uh, at either end of a selected section or all sections of a track. Uh, so we'll start with this single section track. I don't like this color card. I want to hide it. So I'm going to right click and choose trim sections and a small dialog will pop up that gives me a, a variety of options and pop-ups. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to trim, not add, uh, I want to trim what looks like about 12 centimeters from the bottom, so over here, of not selected and deeper but the selected section only. And When I click apply, suddenly the car color card is gone. Uh, that data is not gone forever, it can be recovered. Uh, let's say I made a horrible mistake, I didn't want to trim that at all. If I change this back to add uh, and click apply, it's back again. Uh, now don't be afraid, I can't add more length to a section than is already there. For instance, if I tried to add another 50 centimeters here, it would not work. Uh, if I took away 10 again, and I tried to re-add 15 even, uh, it's only going to add what's there. So you can't, you cannot make a core longer than it actually is uh, through this method. Uh, of course, you can also do this with the top of the core uh, by choosing from the top of. Uh, I guess in this case it doesn't matter, there's only one section in this track anyway, so I could trim this green foam from here, maybe about five inches, and do that as well. So, uh, that is trimming. I will just return this to normal for now. So we'll re-add if you just add a large number, if you want to get back to normal, you can just add some extremely large number and it will just add as much as it can. And there we go. So that's trimming. And then finally, I want to look at stacking sections, which is probably the handiest of these options. Um, stacking sections removes the gaps between a selected section and all deeper sections in the track. So suppose uh, that this track, which has five sections, somehow, through my own editing or whatever, ended up with these enormous gaps between the last three sections of the track. Uh, again, I could try and manually reposition these by zooming, whoops, zooming way in, load, 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 and attempting to just visually line them up. Uh, but like resetting the top depth to zero uh, that I demonstrated earlier, it's really hard to do this accurately. Uh, so, stacking is the alternative to that. Uh, come on, Coralizer. <laughs> so, stacking, uh, if I want to pull these two sections back to this one so that there are no gaps in between, all I do is right click this section and click Stack Sections. As you can see, suddenly there are pulled down and there are no gaps whatsoever. Let's do this again. Now note again that this only applies to the selected section and all deeper sections. So actually the selected section won't move. Only deeper sections will be moved to, to abut the selected section. So in this case, if I stack from here, only this section will move. So, whoops, I just staggered. That's not correct at all. Stack. There we go. So you can see only this section moved to this. And now, uh, the same would apply here. Only these two sections will move left to abut this section. Uh, and we have nice adjacent sections now. Hooray. So that's stacking sections. So those are the basic right click options on a section in the canvas. You can also right click sections and tracks within the session window. Uh, and you, some of the options are duplicated and others are unique. So for instance, uh, properties we've already seen is just the same as it would be if you clicked the image instead. Uh, th however, you can also delete sections here. So for instance, let's say I was not happy with section three of, of track 10A. If I right click and delete, it will be gone. <laughs> now if I want, there's a huge gap here, I could restack these sections 
to pull everything back together. That's nice. Uh, you can also, perhaps uh, you have a lot of cores loaded and things are being obscured by one particular set of cores, you can hide cores. Uh, you can either hide, uh, you cannot hide individual sections, but you can hide by track or by session. Uh, so for instance, if I wanted to entirely hide track 10A, I can right click it, choose hide, and it's gone. So to bring it back, I of course have to find it in here and right click, and it should say show instead of hide, and it returns. Um, this can also be done at a session level. This session includes all the tracks that we've loaded. I can hide this. Now everything goes away. And I can bring it back. You can also rename your session. You can rename your tracks here. Um, the only other item of interest, we're going to skip splitting for now, uh, is locate. Uh, now in this case, uh, I can't imagine you would ever use locate, but in a situation where you had hundreds and hundreds of cores loaded, covering hundreds and hundreds of meters, uh, things will get a little bit confusing uh, and hard to find pretty quickly uh, at that quantity of, of sections loaded. Uh, so if you want to find a particular section or just hopelessly lost somewhere in the canvas, you can always uh, right click on a section and choose locate and Coralizer will immediately zoom in as tightly to that core, showing it in, in its entirety as it can. Uh, so that can be handy in some situations. And I believe that is all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.